Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the gas insulated and air insulated medium voltage ring main units, commonly known as the RMU. RMU are the metal enclosed switch gears which are used for medium voltage secondary distribution in the power systems. Today, we will try to develop the understanding about the RMU design. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. An electrical switch gear is a device that functions to protect, control and isolate the electrical power system. Before we start our discussion on the ring main units, it is important to understand the medium voltage primary and secondary distribution systems. Power from the subtransmission level is stepped down to the medium voltage level at the HV substation using the step down transformer. Medium voltage level starts above 1 kV and can be as high as 52 kV. Here we have taken the example of 11 kV distribution system. For the medium voltage power distribution, we have two types of networks. First type is called the primary distribution and the second type is called the secondary distribution. Primary distribution system using the air insulated or gas insulated switch gears provide power to the consumers with high power demand like airports, medium to small scale industrial plants and large public distribution networks. Primary distribution also provides power to the medium voltage network for secondary distribution, which further distribute the medium voltage power to the end users with low power demand using the ring type distribution system as shown here in the diagram. A ring type distribution system provide more reliability to the power system and ensure continuity of supply to the end users due to double power feeding structure from two different sources as shown here. We can supply power from either source to different users connected in the network. In case of any failure or unavailability of any power source, the entire network can be shifted on the other power source. Primary and secondary distribution is done using the air insulated or gas insulated switch gears. The main difference between the two types is that the switch gears for primary distribution are designed for high rated current and short circuit current. On the other hand, switch gear for secondary distribution, which are commonly called ring main units, are designed for low rated current and low short circuit currents. Since the network of primary distribution is critical as compared to secondary distribution, therefore protection and control scheme at the primary distribution switch gear is more complex as compared to secondary distribution switch gears. Our today's discussion is about the air insulated and gas insulated ring main units, which are used for medium voltage secondary distribution. Ring main units are most commonly used for power distribution in the residential complexes, for the small industrial plants, and the distribution of power for high rise buildings. IEC 62271 1 and IEC 62271 200 defines the requirement for metal enclosed high voltage switch gear and control gear for rated voltage above 1 kV and up to 52 kV. Available rated voltages for RMUs are 12 kV, 17.5 kV. 24 kV and 36 kV. Most RMUs are designed with rated current from 400 Ampere till 1250 Ampere. Rated short circuit currents are up to 25 kA, either 1 second or 3 seconds. Protection against internal arc fault is available in the range of 12.5 kA till 25 kA for 1 second in both AFL and AFLR. Please verify your required ratings from manufacturer at the time of inquiry as these rating changes with RMU designs. RMU designs are available for both indoor and outdoor type installations. Some designs without any additional housing are available for indoor and outdoor installations. Some designs are made for indoor installation, however can be installed outdoor with additional outdoor type housing as shown here in the picture. Both AIS and GIS RMUs are designed free floor standing type and can be installed in the switch gear room as per manufacturer's recommendation. In order to develop further understanding about the RMU design, now we go through the different compartments which forms the RMU. We first take the example of the GIS. First is the steel tank filled with SF6 gas and containing the switching device like circuit breaker or switch disconnector and the bus bars. Second is the cable compartment where the incoming or outgoing power cables are connected. Cable compartment also contain components such as the current transformer for measurement purpose. Third is the user interface containing the measurements and protection devices. Fourth is the manual or motorized operating mechanism for the switching devices. Fifth is the earthing circuit. 
Similarly, for the AIS, the first compartment is the switching device like circuit breaker which can be available in both SS6 type and vacuum type. Second is the cable compartment for the connection of the incoming or outgoing power cables. Third is the user interface containing the measurements and protection devices. Fourth and fifth are the operating mechanism and disconnector switch along with earth connection. Sixth is the main bus bar for connection between different modular switch gears. All the compartments are segregated using the metallic partitions. If the partitions are metallic, then the switch gear is classified as partition metallic or PM class under the IC 62271-200. The gas insulated RMUs are available in two designs. First is called the compact design, which is non-modular, meaning that all the power circuits are enclosed in a single SF6 gas tank. The other design is the modular design, which is also called extensible design. In the modular design, one or two power circuits are enclosed in their own SS6 gas tanks. The advantage of modular design is the increased reliability in case of fault, as all the power circuits are sealed in tanks which are isolated from each other. The other advantage is the flexibility for future expansion. In the modular design, since all the individual power circuits are coupled together as shown in the video here, Therefore, in case of any required change or any required addition in the power circuit, one needs to decouple the module and again couple the new circuit as per the requirement. The modular RMUs are available in three different configuration. First configuration allow extension at the right hand side. Second available configuration allow extension at the left hand side. And the third configuration allow extension at both right and left hand sides. Extensible RMUs are also available with top connected bus bars as shown here in the picture. However, it should be kept in mind that with top connection, the height of the RMU will increase as compared to the side connection RMUs. Mostly RMUs either AIS or GIS are installed with bottom cable entry as shown here in the pictures. However, if the top cable entry is required due to some installation constraint at site, top entry can easily be available with AIS designs. In case of the GIS, the incoming power cables from the field are terminated at the bushing present in the cable chamber of the RMU. These bushings form the link between the power circuit inside the SS6 tank and the power cable coming from the field. It is very important to follow the manufacturer's recommendation for the termination of the power cables. Another important option available in some RMU designs is the continuity of service under flood condition, which is called flood proofing. This option can be available in both AIS and GIS designs. These RMUs are tested under water for the compatibility of the flood proof design. The video here shows the flood test carried out on the RMU. If the flood proof option is required, it is important to discuss it with the manufacturer at the time of the inquiry. To enhance the safety of the people working in close vicinity of the installation, RMU designs are available with the internal R compatibility, both AFL and AFLR. AFL design provides safety to the people at front and lateral sides of the RMU. The AFLR design provides protection at all sides, that is front, lateral and rear sides of the RMU. The evacuation route for the gases is shown here for GIS with and without the evacuation duct option. Especially for the AIS design, a duct can be installed on top of the RMU to direct the hot gases outside the switchgear room. Downward exhaust can also be made through trench as shown here in the picture. It is important to note that the selection of the exhaust method is also dependent on the rated internal arc value and should be discussed with manufacturer during the inquiry or design stage. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.